So returning to educational technologies, um, we should now have a bit of an idea of how we're going to go about exploring educational technologies through a research lens. Um, and an important aspect of that is clarifying your ontology, your epistemology and your theoretical perspective. But we also have to explore the educational technologies themselves. Now, there have been a lot of educational technologies throughout human history. I've provided you with a timeline of pre-internet educational technologies going back throughout history. Then we have the modern age of educational technologies, and there's six ages defined in the reading, and how we've progressed through these different applications of educational technology to the teaching and learning process and to our engagement with society. Then, of course, we've had the explosion of educational technologies as a result of the internet, where we've really had knowledge become democratised. Um, in the past, the transmission of knowledge often relied upon a teacher writing that knowledge on a board and students copying it down. And that was how knowledge was transmitted from the teacher to the students. Then we had textbooks and so forth, which made that a little bit easier. And then we've had the proliferation of the internet and a whole range of other technologies that are assisting with that. And of course, we've got a range of technologies to help us unpack concepts, such as virtual reality and simulations and a whole range of other tools that help us understand the concepts embedded within the knowledge that we're exploring. So what we've done again is looked at creating a timeline of this. And what I'd like you to do is to contribute your own ideas of post-internet um, technologies, educational technologies, that you can add to our growing timeline um, where we're exploring how various um, technologies can be used in education. And then, of course, in most recently, we've had the introduction of artificial intelligence, and particularly with generative text and dialogue agents. Now, these are um, potentially going to represent another major shift in educational technologies. So we're just starting to explore these. It's only been happening for a few months. So what you're going to be doing is exploring one of these technologies, ChatGTP, which is a generative um, text dialogue agent, and exploring what the media is saying. And there's a lot of commentaries happening around the potential impact of this technology. And as part of your first assignment, your self-study, you're going to be exploring what is involved with this particular technology. So I look forward to seeing what you produce for that for the tutorial.